Is this a trick? Am I getting hypnotized right now to do something I don't want to do? <laughs> Just altering my personality to, oh my goodness. What if it's a, a booble? There's something very um, memorial, memory, oriel, booby, <laughs> booby-esque. I love this. I like the idea of in life, if you don't want to answer a question, this is like a stand-in for words. The name of the film that we're going to discuss today is Past Lives. I got it in a very traditional way. It just was emailed to me by my agents. I think the subject line just said something like, Korean, do you speak it? And I kind of thought, oh, no, oh, shoot. I, had, I could immediately already hear all of my ancestors shouting at me about how bad my Korean is, and I was slowly, completely gobsmacked by what I was reading. I really loved it. I cried a lot reading it. Actually, trying to read while crying is <laughs> physiologically very challenging. And then I auditioned and I didn't get the job. <gasps> it happens. And sometimes it hurts more for certain things. And I thought, oh, ouch, okay. But life goes on. And then a full year later, I got a crazy phone call that was sort of just like, are you available to meet with Celine Song? And I kind of thought, who? <laughs> because I, you know, I had blocked it out of my mind. It's like, it's like a certain kind of heartbreak. Uh -huh. You know, you don't want to think about the guy who dumped you. And then, you know, my, my agents reminded me, remember your soulmate script? Uh -huh. Do you, do you, can you meet with her now? Yeah, and we kind of fell in love with each other that day. You know, she likes to say she's certain we were married. In, a, in another lifetime. I don't know if she means that entirely as a compliment. <laughs> I'm sure My first professional job as an actor was Law and & Order SVU, and I thought I had won an Oscar when I got this job. I was the roommate of the victim. It was a very popular episode, and I know this because at the time I was getting residuals, but it was also about incest, which exactly. I thought was interesting, and an interesting episode to share with my parents and family as you know, my first hurrah moment. And then I, right after that, I started a Broadway show. I did the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. That was one of the hardest jobs I've ever had. You know how you can have recurring nightmares of I a never thing? Saw I had to play the piano, twirl a baton, <laughs> and catch it. And so I still have, I mean, it's been years. I still have, I have nightmares where I have to try to twirl a baton and catch it. <laughs> Do you have a go-to karaoke song? It was Killing Me Softly. Well, I did. I, I had to put it into retirement because you know when you feel like it's getting stale? I know I'm sort of in a karaoke purgatory. <laughs> Oh my God. I, I just sing. told you that everyone's sick of me singing this song, That's and okay. now I cannot believe. Strumming my pain with his fingers. Singing my life with. No, I have to do this again. Oh, I love think? Halloween. I know a lot of actors don't like Halloween because it True. reminds them of work and getting dressed up, but I love Halloween. What? I was Kim Jong un. It's a <gasps> very people good know costume. What you were? It was more about the wig. Oh. I had this sort of you know, little bit of volume, but you know, <laughs> that shape. And I was wearing sort of like a military, uh -huh. uh, a green kind of jumpsuit and, um, and glasses. It's a very serious endeavor. My husband grew up receiving handmade costumes from his parents, so he's sort of carrying the torch and, and having to make these costumes for our kids. One of my sons wanted to be a honeydew melon, specifically had to be uh, a honey, cantaloupe. honeydew. Not a cantaloupe, and he was mispronouncing it as a honey boo. <laughs> and he was so serious, you know, every time he was asked, what are, what are you? He's like, I am a honey boo. That's no so further explanation. Where was your first kiss? His yeah. name was Jimmy, and I was in preschool. <laughs> it was a real kiss. I was very aggressive. It was very, it was a public setting. It was in the classroom, but I was serious. <laughs> I think I, I leaned in and I think I scared him and he fell back um, and fell onto the floor and that didn't, <laughs> that didn't stop me. I think my, my, my little brother James is, is named after him. I felt love. Oh. I mean, it, was, it, was, it wasn't requited. I, I was in a serious relationship as far as I was concerned. <laughs> I don't think Jimmy realized that, but yeah.